WD18 outside Vicar Road has finished what for Neil Spurs. Neil Rudy, great to see you, mate. It's yeah, absolutely thanks. freezing. <laughs> but um, yeah. a good point, would you say? Um, obviously, we had the best chance of the game with the penalty, but on the balance play, probably a point was a fair result, or do you think we should have deserved all three? Uh, well, I thought first 10 minutes, I thought Tottenham you know, were better than us, if I'm being completely honest. But after that, we just grew into the game and then, you know, we could have scored at times and we had chances in that match. You know, there was a Saar one, Saar one where he could have volleyed it. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I think we started pretty slowly, didn't we, Rudy? And we kind of grew into the game. Obviously, a big save from Foster in the first half from Mora. Um, who stood out for you today? Which players you thought caught, caught your eye? I thought Capu was brilliant in the first half. Messina, another good performance? Um, I thought, yeah, Messina had another good performance. But I thought Chalabu again did well. Um, so, so I did a white, but obviously he apparently had a hamstring injury. So That'd be a big blow, wouldn't it, really? Because he's, he's really good down that right hand side. But you say that, but we've got that Paceto guy, but he obviously needs to, you know, Get you know, get more involved and also, but he did actually clear off the line, so he saved us. Yeah. He saved us a point. He saved us. He's our saviour. But <laughs> um, yeah, Rudy, we look ahead to Tuesday, Aston Villa. Obviously, we beat uh, Aston Villa three 0 at home. Tuesday night, big game for both teams. Your thoughts going into that? Would there be any changes? Obviously, Cabaselli was on the bench today. Yeah, I thought that's a massive game. So obviously, if so, if that is a hamstring injury, then uh, I think we're going to have to play Pacetto. I think, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm OK with that, but he just needs to get more involved, as I said. But we, I think unchanged again, because, unchanged? Okay. because that was the team that beat uh, Aston Villa 3-0 at home. I know it was at home. I know Aston Villa are stronger at home, but we can still get a result there, definitely. Would you I'm not consider putting Cabasele back in, Rudy? Or do you think just keep it the same at the moment, don't change anything? Um, you know what? I would put yeah, I would put Cabasele in though, I guess, because Mariapa sometimes he did. There were times where he did give the ball away, but you know, Mariapa has put in you know shifts these games, so you know it would be a bit a shame to see him get dropped. So. And yeah. it was just finally a busy week for Watford, of course. Tuesday Villa, Thursday Tranmere. You'd imagine it'd be a quite a changed team. Um, is that what you? I mean, we look at to the weekend. It's a big week for Watford. Thursday Tranmere. Obviously, I won't get to see you yeah. before then, but would you just completely, completely just put the under-23s out, put the youth players out, or would you give an opportunity for players who aren't getting a lot of game time, as you mentioned, Paceto, um, Pereira potentially, or is it just... Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what do you think about on Thursday against Tramit? Um, I wouldn't play Chalibur and that, like we did against... Uh, uh, the home match because you know it's Trump is pitch you know it's a muddy pitch you don't want to whisk them because Chalibur's our main midfielder so we got to keep him fit but I'd start Quina Quina sorry and uh, I'd start Paceto okay. and I'd start um, João Pedro so yeah hopefully they can link in more and you never know they could get a goal maybe yeah. but <laughs> maybe yeah. top man Rudy really well said mate thank you so much for coming along